Hi, how are ya? Uh, um, uh, I can explain. Listen, I started recording this back in December. The next few clips, you'll be able to see that the chests still have the uh, Christmas texture on them. It's been that long, yes. Hopefully here on out, we don't do this long of a gap between episodes. But I did a lot of work on stuff. And this is me recording after everything has been finished. This video cannot be any longer. I did a lot, and I hope that you can bear with it. And I really hope that I can make this not ridiculously overwhelming. But honestly, I think we should just catch up to my old self because I introduced the episode pretty well then. Just wanted to give you that warning that things are going to be a little bit weird. Oh yeah? Yeah, is that right? Is that right? Huh? Yeah. Good for you. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. They're still captive. I'm just wrapping up the end of the last episode and I am feeling a little bit inventive. And by inventive, I mean builditive. Build build builditive? Creative. I feel like I want to build. Ah, <sighs> it's time. The brewing room up top up here, the entrance to the house and the tower are the main things that need to be done. But I also just checked my Xbox world to uh, take a peek at the house. And um, I forgot that he had a pool and a like nice library downstairs. Don't know how that slipped my mind, but I'm going to have to find a way to incorporate that because the living room was going to be a, a sort of library. And I don't know how I'm going to make that work now. I will, though. It's possible. Also, this guy's got to be invited into the house at this point. He's so friendly. Also held captive like most of the other animals and beings. So that's my plan. But I just want to get the rest of the house done. <sighs> I've just been waiting for this day for so long. Like, it, it's just got to get done. I'm not waiting anymore. We're doing it now. You can check back. You can check it. Watch this awesome footage. After looking back on the Xbox edition, I found that the brewing area doesn't have any windows. So this is going to go. I might just slope these walls in a little bit. And another thing is the flooring here isn't wood. It's sandstone. So it makes sense if it looked something like this instead, which somehow I'll have to make work, but I'm not sure how. We'll see when I get there. I've got some bad news. So I like the way that this is coming along with this almost warehouse style window on top. I really think that it adds to the whole, this is a storage room side, right? But if I want to continue this area up here, this a wheel that we put in this water wheel like way back at this point it's just too big it's in the way so i think we gotta get rid of it which i don't really wanna but at the same time i feel like it will make this room a lot better so i think i'm gonna and i think i'm gonna go from there i was copying this design from over here and i i, I don't like it and i think that like i've said before uh, detailing these pillars is gonna help a lot without like making this area not look as too much like, there's too much sandstone, right? So hopefully once those are detailed, this will look better. But it just right now does not look the way I want. So tweaking and designing is basically the next big steps. And I'm going to keep at it because that's all I can do, you know? How about this bunch? <laughs> Perfect. Shut up. Hmm. Not all too sure how I feel about that. Some things are going to get need to get tweaked. I, I think that those pillars are going to have to get cut off down like there. I think that this is going to need to get dropped down. Like these pillars are just going to need to be basically gone. And those ones could stay to go and wrap around the top. I do like that warehouse shape though. That looks really good. I'm not sure if this glowstone is going to stick on the roof or not. I haven't really thought about it too hard, but I do like the idea of having like this one central strut that like it goes through the top of the roof and connects the entire thing. Not certain, not certain. I have no idea. <laughs> googly, googly, googly. I've lost my ever loving mind. I'm going to be entirely honest. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm insane. Welcome back to the chaos. Hi, how are ya? I'm on four Red Bulls, 400 milligrams of caffeine, and I'm ready to go. So this is what we're dealing with right now. I have this idea of having the big bay windows on the hall of the entrance before the building to be like curved outwards. And the reason they stop short of the full curve is because this is going to be a platform, a catwalk, and then like a awning over top of it, similar to how we did over on the crafting room right here, that type of awning. And that's going to be right against the enchantment room, which will be a small library right above this tunnel. However, I've decided the entire corner of this mountain is getting destroyed. So we're going to dig most of this out. I think like over to here. Ah, well, I don't know now, actually. I haven't fully decided on it. I'm going to like an analyze the area and then I'm going to start digging. I'm not entirely sure how I want this to look yet, but I think I want the doghouse and stuff exposed to the air and then the water out here, I guess. It's going to be kind of cool. 
and I'm gonna spend a lot of time working on it. That's why I left, rejoined, and started a new replay, because it's gonna be a giant one. <laughs> are about 25 minutes later and I'm questioning what we do next. I really like this being opened like this. However, it does mean that now this looks odd. And I think that the solution is going to be to extend this little lake area. And I think that we can blend the uh, curve here into this terrain, which will make us have a bigger lake with a little bit of an extension here. But all this will be underwater, turning into a waterfall that dips down into the bottom in that pool. I think that's the play, but I'm not going to touch it for a little bit because I don't want to do it and then regret doing it. I want to make sure that's exactly what we're going to do here. But opening this up was definitely the play. Now it feels like more of the house. And I think that I could really do something with this. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at it. It, it. It's turning out nice. <laughs> There's a lot to do, <laughs> as always. I'm going to get to work on something. Briefly, can we talk about my foresight? It's almost like I had an idea from the beginning. Wait, I got I to gotta see this. Remember when I dug out to this corner? Oh, ooh, that's not good. <laughs> I already dug out to this corner. And the reason was I had this idea already. I remember now but i'm pretty proud that i initially thought of that and it fits so perfectly like i've had this same idea that's just slightly molded into a better version of itself over the last few months oh sleep already and this is kind of what i went for and it, actually it's pretty ideal i don't know how we're gonna do the water yet but i think we're gonna have like little patches of dirt that are holding the water back almost like it's been slowly eroding it away and we'll just blend both sides together and that's where the waterfalls will be like underneath the path into the water this is gonna be awesome it really is we have men in our base and I'm not pleased. No, you want to do this? Really? You want to do this? Okay, jackass. How's this feel? <laughs> oh, thanks, big guy. Put that um right up there. If I could ever reach it. Oh, yep, yep. There we go. Paul. Paul. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Big guy. Big guy. Come on, let's go remove some vermin. Come on, Paul. So this is like triple deep carpet. And as far as I'm aware, mobs can't pathfind through that. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Paul does not give a singular shit. I guess it's when they're on top of it, not pathfinding over it. And maybe Paul doesn't care just because he's so big. That might actually be the reasoning. Because he's more than a block wide, so he just does not care about a gap. So, like, a spider would go over this, but, like, creepers, skeletons, zombies, they shouldn't. Theoretically. But that does mean that he's just gonna walk through it. Oh, come on! Unbelievable. Paul, get in the house. We'll have to find a way to make sure he doesn't get out. Or that he only roams the property and not, like, God knows where. While we're here, though... And while I've got your attention, let's take a look over at the, um, at the doohickey from the, uh, the last video. Doohickey, I mean, uh, oh, what, what does he have? A feather! So we built this shulker farm in the last video, and it's been running since I've started building. So basically six hours? I think at some point it broke. Oh my god, that's more than enough for now, though. So the shulker that was in there decided to take damage too many times, and then it teleported without creating a new shulker. So the system is supposed to be able to refill and send them into that portal, but for some odd reason, uh, I, I broke it. I broke it. I think I built it like one block too close or something vertically, and now these portals aren't linked properly, which is fine. Like, I, I don't really care. But, you know, for now, though. Oh. Whoa, whoa, there's a bunch. Whoa, whoa, never mind, never mind. It was working. It was working. I'm sorry. What is this, Mojang? Hmm? What is this? Completely unplayable. How, how am I supposed to enjoy Minecraft when my elytra doesn't move with my back? Look at that. It's so unrealistic. Wait, they're out in the rain. Don't you take damage? Isn't this bad for bees? Why are you in the rain? What are you doing? Blood, you don't even know what's going on. Your AI's in a different time zone. What the hell is going on? Guess what looks really cool from above? Our storage room. Look at that. That has a great top profile. Yeah, coming in for a crash landing, baby. Yeah. Oh my god, that took a lot more damage than I thought I would. Here we are in the Enchantry. I am starting to love it up here because I like little libraries in this game. I just always have. But this is going to be our main enchanting area. That way we have a level 30 Enchantry and we can just, you know, come here when we need it. Very infrequently, but when we need it. But I plan on having like two levels and a bunch of bookshelves 
with these intermittent chisel ones so that we can store actual books. And then we can have sections for each enchanted book that we might want. I'm trying to figure out a way to make this look nice, but not certain it's gonna. So it'll take some time and some tweaking and some some uh, some uh, silly, silly goof, you know? Some silly goof. Some silly goof. Uh, Mamma mia. While we're over here, I just thought of something funny and I really want to change it. So I'm going to do it. So I've had this idea for the last 22 seconds, and I really think that it's funny. <laughs> it's so dumb. I just, I had to. I thought of it, and I was like, oh my god, I need to name it that. And then I didn't really play for two weeks. But I did come back to this. So this is my first time back in the world in a little while. In the middle of just like working on some things, I want to point out that over by the cherry biome there's just one wolf either a he made his way from down there all the way up to here by chasing sheep or he actually spawned here and i don't even think they can spawn in the uh in the cherry biomes unless maybe that counts as a forest no i think the only conclusion i can come to is that he came from all the way down there come on befriend this wolf no 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 you don't you don't want to be involved listen i need, I need you to go up there i'm gonna tame him move yay look a dog yay yippee get him Get him! Get him! Suck him! What the hell are on those boots? Oh my god! Anyway, I thought that was interesting. <laughs> I don't know. You may have just caught a glimpse of the tower. I was gonna do a replay of that, but most of it looks like this. We'll touch back on it soon. But I needed to take a break, so I went to look for Pigstep again. Ow! I want that. That's- that's a memorable- that's a- that's a memorability there. That's a memorabilia. Really? Again? Man, what the hell? Screw off. Nothing. Come on. Really? D come on! All I want is pig step. I'm going to get it now. I'm getting angry. I want this goddamn music disc. She's like actually curious how many bastions I've looted in this series. Because we're pushing 30. I just had to. I, I had to. That was funny. All right. This is the lucky one. I can feel it. Come on. Are you kidding me? Ugh. You did that. You did that. That was all you. Nothing, dude. What will it take to get pig step? <laughs> Bro, it's moonwalking. Screw it. Let's keep going. This was meant to be a quick in and out. Are you kidding me? Are you for real? That's another three bastions that don't have pig step. Part of me feels like the uh, the game just doesn't want me to have it. Shocker there. Die for your sins. Dude, like, I, I, are you serious? Shut up. There's a lot of gold in the outside of that. So much that I don't care. This is a treasure bastion, too, so theoretically we should be able to get it in here if anywhere. Yes! Oh my god. I'll even take the magma cream. I'm so excited. We don't need anything else. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm going home. Oh, this is a moment. This is a big moment. Oh, yes! That was worth it. It's too loud. I'm putting it away. All right, we're never going to play it again. <laughs> so we're about two weeks later. Not since the last clip, but since like I started making this whole video. I haven't edited any of it yet, so it's gonna come together, I'm sure, very abruptly, but whatever. I've been working on the house. A lot. I've done a lot of work on this house. I did the roof, right? But I also started the tower, and I'm not a fan of where it is right now. So it, it looks weird, and I'm not entirely certain why. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, what would make it look better right now. But I, I, it's it's something. I kind of like this design on the uh, on the chute, though, on the water chute. I just, I can't make it too big, else it looks weird. So I don't know, maybe, maybe like, the actual platform itself needs to be bigger I, I don't entirely know I i'm not certain and then obviously the clubhouse is done that's something we need to finish off like the little details on the front of the house and the rest of the interior and stuff like that this still needs to get finished uh this roof needs to get finished and over here the last few days when i was working on things i didn't really know what to do so i figured i would start working on some of the terrain and stuff i decided that we're gonna do like this stepped uh, garden terrain. I need wheat currently for uh, mud bricks, so I figured, hey, let's just make a bunch of wheat. I like that. I think it's pretty cool. But we're gonna keep this around the hill. Maybe end it up in here somewhere, or and keep it going around this way. I, I don't really know yet. I'm not entirely certain. And if you've noticed, uh, this got raised up a little bit because I wanted it to be more even with the terrain. I might add a few more cherry blossoms in here. I'm not certain yet. I just did this haphazardly, and I really like it. Another thing you may have noticed is I got rid of the tree farm because over here, I made some a little bit more permanent. This is gonna get built up on the sides. I'm gonna have walls that are in here that meet up with the terrain and it's gonna actually blend properly. But right now I just needed a lot of wood. And all this is, is a platform 
that has water underneath it flowing towards the center. And as you break the trees, the saplings, leaves, and any excess sticks and wood will fall into the water and it comes to here. I even went through the effort of making like a nice way to check on things if like something gets stuck or if, you know, an issue happens. I like it. I think it came together pretty well. There's a lot of details I need to get done with it, but it's fine. It's fine. This video is about making progress, and that's what it is. That's not the only thing that I did. I actually started working on the entrance, too, and I you probably saw that. I don't remember what I updated and what I did, but the entrance of the house is starting to look nice. Coming from the storage room into this area, which I added this nice green carpet, and I really, really like it against the, uh, the gray, especially with the bamboo in here. But this is going to be, like, the entrance area. Not, like, the direct entrance, which will be right here, which, like, the staircase down and... It'll incorporate with the rest of the house pretty well. But this is just a really nice corridor. And I am a fan of it. I really like the way it turned out. It took a while to get like working properly. But from this side, I like the way it looks. The arch was a good idea. And on top of it, we're going to have this walkway that is just going to be a part of the enchantment area and will lead to the roof of the actual main entrance. And I love this area so much. I want to get a roof on here and make this look a little nicer because right now it's just, you know, a, a library with no roof. But I'm a fan of it. I like it. And I think that it looks really nice in here. There was this little area. It's got a little seating area. I don't remember what it was for. It's whatever. There's a banner. Yeah, that's cool and all. And I don't know if I ever really showed off this, but there's uh, the brewing area that has nothing in it besides walls. <laughs> and I haven't even replaced the glass right here. I, I was testing on a chandelier design too, and this is not going to be permanent. And another thing that I've done is I've reorganized everything in these chests because uh, it kind of became chaos in here. This is a, um, just a shulker box wall so that like as I'm loading and restocking things, it's easy to place in here instead of just throwing them on the floor. And it gives us some furnace space so that we can actually smelt things like two cactus. But I incorporated everything that was on this wall into here and I re positioned everything as far as what needs to go where. I did some like main categories and like main natural things. Like I have all of these stones separated now, which I think was what I wanted from the start anyway. But it has been a lot of work to get to this point and I'm not done, which is pretty clear. And I won't lie, that scares me because my goal for this video was to get everything done like the entire house, but it's been like three weeks, four weeks since I started working on this video. It's been a while. It's been a long time. But like I said, we're going to see. It might be towards the end of the episode. We might have to push this into two parts, but I think that we're going to, we're going to try. We're going to try. Oh, and one final thing. I, I showed Paul. I think I should. Why? He's got a booger coming out of his nose. And we got this dog in the earlier clip from yesterday. And I figured I'd name him Gray. I don't know why. I just... I, I put a gray collar on him. I was like, what an original name. Gray. I am loving the house, though. I will say that it is coming together. It's just the tower doesn't look right, and I don't know what it is. A another thought that I had was maybe just to lower it by another, like, four blocks. Like, start on this sandstone strip instead of that one. And I also still haven't finished this side of the house. Uh, th you know, I, I started doing this, like, two months ago, and I don't even remember what the hell I was doing. Oh, not to mention, over here, I started doing some pathing. But I figured we're going to do some... There's stuff over here too at some point and I was bored and I didn't know what to do So I started building a little path and I like this bridge. I think it came out nice and I like this path too with these uh, what, what, what is the um the style of that? <laughs> I don't know what the hell to call it I really like this one So I decided to build a bigger one and I kind of like that one not nearly as much as the first one But it's coming together. I'm getting really happy with it because like piece by piece over the last six months <laughs> I finally started to get this house together. I can't wait to work on other things. I really can't because this house has been driving me insane, but I want to get it done because as soon as it's done, it's like the staple of the, the world. <laughs> so anyway, rent is over. All right, I have a crazy idea. Watch this. <laughs> How does that look? <laughs> I think it looks good. Wait, it actually looks good. <laughs> I think that might be the play. Wait, hold on. What about there? I think that's still too high. I genuinely think that might actually be where it needs to be. <laughs> I think I gotta try it. I think I gotta try it. Well, we're getting there. This is far better than it was. I, I think that it was way too tall before. And now it's at least a little bit reasonable. Some of this needs to be sloped out so it looks a little bit more natural. But, um... Not too sure. I feel like there's too much sandstone going on here. I might have to adjust that. We'll see. I added the lighting into the roof, too. I think this was in the original, original plans, so that's something. I plan on adding, like, a little bit of a, uh, like, deck balcony thing up here, so it'll incorporate and fill in this area a little bit more. And maybe a support going from there to there? I'm not entirely certain yet. Like, maybe from that down to there. I've not thought about it all too much. What the hell? What are you doing? Well, <laughs> there's one. Really? You're just gonna keep going? All right, screw you. Can I get another skelly real quick? How about this creeper too? Come on. Little fella, I saw you over here. No? Apparently not. Well, that's unfortunate. No, oh, and he despawned. Okay, great. Well, at least we got one. I went mining. I'm gonna go... I, I, I got a bunch of deep slates so that I could build the roof. I have an idea. You're gonna see it in a second. First, we gotta jam out. 
All right, that's enough jamming out. Are you kidding me? I was like, oh, you know what, this roof, I want to see if it looks right, like if the shape is okay. And then I come up here, and it starts thunderstorming. Every. Single. Time. I kind of like it. It's definitely not mm, okay. It's definitely not something I normally do. You know, I've been thinking about it. I want a trident. Not one that's like Riptide. I want one that's for, uh, situations like this. Little funny thunderstorm. Since it rains so much anyways, it'd be nice to be able to control the thunder. Jesus. And it's no longer thunderstorming, so it's not... Dark enough anymore. That's great. Actually, wait, that's super weird. Are you serious? <laughs> All right, hold on. We're getting him. No. Oh, he's gonna kill them both. All right, well, you know, they've been sitting there for a while anyway. I think um, maybe, maybe it was their time. Cope. I'm coping. You hold on. You sit right there. <laughs> okay, you don't want that. You know what? I'm naming them. Don't worry, Joe Biden. I'll save you. No, Sleepy Joe. Hold on. Joe, don't worry. <laughs> you know what? That can be Joe Biden's room up top then. How about that? Don't worry, Joe. I gotcha. So wait, do we have one or two guys in here? Got two. Okay, good. So we'll have two little fellas left and we'll have Joe. Jart, Lart. <laughs> Jart and Lart. Joe, I would love it if you changed. Hmm. So what is he gonna be? Do we, like, what profession do we give him? What would Joe <laughs> in real life be? He wouldn't be a farmer. I feel like a librarian, maybe. Don't you dare. Joe's been alive for 26 seconds and he's already a pain in my ass. Joe, Joe, no. Bad Joe, bad Joe. No, no, Joe. Joe, come on, man. You're kidding me. Joe, 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 stop. This isn't funny. Come on. No. Stop. Huh? Unbreaking one. <laughs> Maybe we don't make him up. Okay, let's just look at our options here. Since he wanted to be one of everything. I'm trying to think who would be useful around the base. Maybe we... Oh. You dumb son of a... Huh? Shut up. Joe. Where did Joe go? Mr. Biden! Mr. Biden! Where are you? Where the hell did he just go? Joe, you're not going outside. Stop trying. Oh, Andy does pumpkins. All right, Joe, you're perfect. I'm gonna try to get him upstairs now. Joe, come on. Don't fall. Gotcha, bitch! Okay, so this will be Joe's, uh, uh, sanctum. This will be Joe's sanctum. He's gonna have mystical items in here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna build up Joe's sanctum. <laughs> and then I'll meet you back in a little bit. Alright, let me show you a dilemma. I never really planned this staircase, and it has gotten to the point where to get upstairs, you have to go around, like, five bends. I don't like it. So what I think the plan is here is to completely revamp this entire area. I think that will include getting rid of all of these pillars. These will probably stay unless I can shift them over by a block, but they would have to both go inwards, which means this would be misaligned and I like it being two blocks instead of one and the last thing that I'm doing is making it so that this is three wide because that would completely ruin this entire design because then we would have nine and three instead of seven and five and seven and five is already uh, a little bit screwed up but I was thinking about this already the other day because if you're about to go upstairs from the storage room you have to go up right up left up left up right <laughs> if you want to go across you got to go down straight up like, it's- it's not very straightforward, and I'm not a fan of it, so I think I'm gonna revamp it. Plus, I kind of felt like this area up here was just compensating for the staircases being so screwed up, so uh, we'll see. I'm gonna see what I can do. Well, that took a while. I still haven't even sorted this bottom part, but I think that this is the direction that we should go. Where it peeks down over into the crafting room, and you can take these two stairs down, or you can take these two magnificent staircases straight up. It makes this place so much less claustrophobic, and I love it. I don't even think we need to extend these pillars up anymore, because it blocks the view of them when you come up. I think we can put a wall or something here if we really wanted to, which would be kind of cool because that would mean we can do like something like this and have brewing stations on them and uh, do that. I kind of like the way this came out. I'm pleased with it because it feels so much nicer than turning 16 times. You set up the staircase and you turn around and you head this direction. One staircase solves it. What's up, Joe Biden? I don't remember. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Not to mention if we have something here, it'd be nice to look down into, but also I think that the chandelier can hang from this support now 
which will one make more sense and two will probably look fantastic with this staircase oh you know what we could do what if we do this right it does mean that this staircase is just going to be completely open which honestly i think is fine i don't really see a problem with that it's not like i'm gonna fall off of it and then over here we can have like a little area for bins and stuff and by bins and stuff i mean barrels and chests and pretend like it's just you know decoration but we don't have to pretend it's decoration because it is decoration oh those are over here now <laughs> that threw me off for a second what if we just do that? I feel like that actually does a really good job of filling that area in. Wait, I like that. It really makes this area scream storage, which is exactly what I wanted. We need more barrels. Lieutenant, we need more barrels. You've got to be kidding me. Paul. Paul, can you believe this shit? Every 13 seconds, it rains on this world. Okay, that looks beautiful. Uh, yep, no, I nailed it. Uh, a double chest here. And the stair to finish it off. That's beautiful. That was it. That's exactly what it needed. Uh, yeah. No, this was, um... This was a good choice. This is so much nicer. Because then I can really flesh out these supports on the top to make them feel more sturdy. We can hang the chandelier from it. And then we can kind of do whatever we want up here. It gives us plenty of room. I'm pleased. Uh, I, I forgot to close that off. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. I, originally, there was going to be a fireplace, but I don't think that's going to work. Joe Biden's room is really important, and I'm trying to make sure I get it right. Yeah, I like that. Because then when you walk in, you kind of get like a, whoa, like there's a, there's a big room over there. And that's when you go around the staircase and see these and see the storage room. I, I think that works. I'm going to mess with it just a little bit to get it perfect, perfect. But I think that this is about right. So I told you I was going to make a chandelier, right? Ta-da! Check this out. I am in love with that. I think it turned out really nice. So I, I decided to expand the supports, like I initially said, and I think that that really does make a difference as far as depth and just general feel of it. Like it actually feels like it's supporting the glass now. This needs to get changed, but I ran out of sandstone while I was doing it and I wanted to work on this and I love it. I love the, uh, <laughs> like the alternating stone brick and fence posts. It looks so good. Not to mention the lanterns hanging off of it look amazing. And it really, really does work. Walking in is beautiful. There's going to be some detail work in here too. Like all this stone is going to be intermittent with uh, cobblestone, andesite stone like this. And it's going to look a lot nicer in the future, but I really do like that. I'm just going to keep going. I'm having a good time. It is six o'clock in the morning. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> One staircase, two staircases. Over here, I did the same thing pretty much. The only thing I changed is that I lowered this down by one so that it would sit in here. I think it's okay. It doesn't have to be identical on both sides. Identical? I identical. Why does that sound weird now? And we have a little fella in the wall over here that I named like two or three days ago, but I just haven't acknowledged it. Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones. Look, he's chilling. He spawned in here. He lives in there. Are you serious? Unbelievable. We also have that snow golem on the other side of the base. This is the wrong shulker box that I'm going to name Casper. Ah, the only reason I'm going to name him Casper is because, uh, he's like a ghost. Oh, we haven't acknowledged him in mm, seven episodes. Probably more than that. I looked at him at the start of this one. That's the only reason I remembered Casper. Hi, it's me, narrator Zoroshi. It's been a while. Welcome back. At this point, I needed more resources. So off I went. Hmm. Well, I was looking for calcite because I needed more. And I was like, oh, you know what? We'll go past the ice spikes. Another with a mansion. 3,000 blocks away, next to a jungle. It's unbelievable. But while we're here, I do need cocoa beans anyway, so I'm actually kind of thrilled. I never grabbed them the first time around, so we haven't had any access to anything brown. At least die in concrete. And a mangrove and a savanna. If there's a desert out here, I'm gonna- I swear to God. Whoa, this is big. Whoa. No way. Okay, it's just a tiny patch. There's a coral reef, though. Uh-huh. This is the biggest mangrove swamp I think I've ever seen. Well- this hasn't been all too exciting. I've been flying long enough that I found another woodland outpost. Woodland mansion, not outpost. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I did not know you could get a spider spawner like this. That's kind of cool. I haven't found any calcite. Extreme hills by themselves. Are they even in the game anymore? I thought that's where you found them. I haven't found a single patch of calcite, only diorite. Like enough that I'm just going home because I'm bored. Also, was, I was curious and I was looking on the wiki and I didn't realize that cherry groves is one of the biomes that uh that the deep dark can spawn under. So we might want to check around our base at some point. So we have at least three cherry grove biomes. That would be insane if the one right next to spawn has a deep dark in it. Because that'll make things very, very easy later down the line. I would like to get all the advancements and the one where you have to have every effect. It'd be nice to just have the warden on hand. I think I know where I am. <laughs> Is there another one right right behind it? Yep. All right. I know exactly where I am. We were just here. Wait, let's recreate it. There's one here. There's one over there. And there's one. And then there's one that way. Right over here. I felt called to the caves. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Ah. Uh, I'm really hoping to get other side. That's basically the only reason I'm recording. <laughs> I'm underneath the cherry grove by... 
Oh, well, this kind of works too. I'm underneath a cherry grove over by the village. The one that's up on the mountain. You know, the, how a cherry grove looks. I'm going to see if I can find a deep dark under here. Well, also just gathering as much uh, calcite as I possibly can. Oh, look at that. Oh, my diamonds. Are you serious? All the way down. Uh-huh. A whole lot of nothing. Great. Oh, that's just, yeah, that's just great. I, I love a good dead end. I've only... I'll stop complaining now. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh bingo, bingo, bingo. Come on. Ugh, really? Between pig step and other side, there's no way I shouldn't have uh, either of them by now. I mean, I got pig step, but you know what I mean. And it's a dead end. Okay, great. Well, it's been about 45 minutes. <laughs> I got 54 diamonds so far. And I found a slime. Hi. Oh, wow. 13 whole balls. I haven't found another dungeon. I opened like three minecart chests. I haven't found a deep dark. I haven't found anything interesting. It's mostly been running and placing torches. I haven't even been grabbing the redstone. And I, I should have been. And I even acknowledged that I should have been. But I wasn't. So many things are spawning down here. How's that feel? Get pickaxe to death, noob. Look at that, more diamonds. They're not even interesting anymore. It's just nice because they're blue and shiny. I honest to God think the only interesting thing that I've come across is this giant cave beneath me because it spans so far all the way over there to all the way over here. It's pretty big, but again, there's nothing special down here. It's just, it's just a hole. I don't know. I have a feeling this, this little adventure is going to be coming to an end here shortly. Look at this dude. Yeah, that speed really helps you now, huh? I have no clue where I'm at. Not a single idea. Ah, I was definitely here. I stole the cauldrons. Wait, is this that village? I think I do know where I am. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for the reveal. Oh, yeah, it most certainly is. The, uh, the village and the pumpkin farm is back there, and our house should be right over this hill. Yep, there's a slime farm. Look at that. I know my way around. Oh, you can't do that anymore. Ignore that. I was potentially using it to find glow squids. I was just... I was just chilling. <laughs> Do we have too many diamonds? That's actually insane. Mm -hmm. It was around here that I started to work more on the enchantry. Replay decided not to record some of it. Okay, replay mod just didn't record. That's awesome. So basically the situation right now is that I think we're going to keep this. I want to make this more prestigious and like royal is the word. So I think I'm going to incorporate purple in here somehow, but I'm really liking the ceiling. I was trying to avoid block vomit and I think I did a good job. So what this should be is a little bit of a tight corridor. But I think that we can make this something really special here from the other side. Oh, uh, well, you know, besides the dirt. Hmm, I don't know. I, maybe they need something hanging above it. I think it does. We might whip out the soul lanterns. Uh, where might those be? Oh my God. They're on the other side of the base, aren't they? There they are. Oh, and a bunch of chains. I will take that. Gonna need to consolidate again soon. I kind of like that. Hmm. I'm gonna keep working on it. Ta-da! How do we feel about this? Hmm. Well, I need to finish that, but ignore that. I think this is uh, pretty much where I want it. I don't know if it's the floor or what, but I think it's the brown and the purple. It goes against one another. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really certain. In these bookshelves, I think I'm gonna include more chiseled bookshelves, like in here. And I have this little nook up here. I, I figured this would be kind of cool. On the second floor, there's like a little window and you could peek out. Yeah, but I don't know. I think that works better. How does that look? Hmm. Almost. Something's just off. Is it just the purple? Is it really just conflicting with those colors that much? Hmm. Maybe because there's no purple in the actual bookshelves. I wonder if that's why. So when you look at this, it just sticks out way too much. So if we use like teal, green, or red, it would probably look better. Let's try green. I've been a fan of green recently. Ah, this is better, but it doesn't look quite right. You know what? I'm making the executive decision to move on and think about it later. And that was a blatant lie. We need a better solution than this. Hello, Joe. How you holding up? I've got a sister who's the love of my life. Oh, that's great, buddy. That's great. Joe, you're in my way. Come on, get up there. Bro, get in the boat. No, no, get in the boat. Thanks. All right, you stay right there. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where do I go from here? Hmm. This is pretty silly. Joe, what do you need in your room? Joe, 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 tell me. Joe, 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 Joe. Whoa, whoa. I think we need to perform an exorcism. Ameno. <laughs> we gotta make this a little bit more romantic. Do a Joe Biden thing. I have no idea what that entails. Just do a Joe Biden thing. Joe, what kind of open floor plan do you like? Definitely industrial, right? Like, Joe seems like an industrial kind of guy. Yeah, you like an industrial, don't you? Joe, I know you like the kitchen and all, but I need you to get the hell out of my way. Joe, listen, I get it. I get it. You're excited. I would like to have a nice open kitchen, too. Joseph Biden. Joe! Parody. You sit on the couch. Oh, thank God, Joe. 
Whoa, bam! A room. Also, I did some interior work over here. I think this looks a little bit better. I, I decided to add a little bit of pattern to the floor. I'm not too thrilled with it. I don't know. We'll see. But Joe Biden now has the sweetest room out of everyone. Look at this place. Do a do a cool shots thing here. Do do a cool shot. I tried to decorate as much as I could, and I really do like it. Look at this, he's even got a punching bag in here. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Whoa, Joe! <laughs> Yo! How you doing today, Mr. Biden? Oh, oh, oh yeah, break it down. This is a, um, this is a pool table. Look at, look at those, those are the sticks. I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was in a 2012 Minecraft, uh, building tips showcase. He's got a dining room over here with two cherry plants and a, a nice, uh, memorial. <laughs> Yes, you like this place, don't you? I also made sure that, like, even with these composters, he doesn't really stray too far. He'll come out to here, maybe, and then go back in. But with the kitchen and the bedroom, that's pretty much it. It's not super detailed, and there's nothing really special in here. It's just, you know, it's the it's the Joe Biden crib. But I added some detail to that wall, and I did the same over here. And I like the shape. They're not the same, just because there's different things inside of both. But I did ultimately end up going for blue here, and I like it. I decided to change it over to diamonds too, so that it's like matching the blue of the enchantment table. And I think it looks good. And diamonds over there, since we have so many. Little reading quarter, everything like that. I'm now starting to work on the roof, and I'm gonna start the entrance. But I feel like this place is getting too big. Like, it's... It's pretty big. It's pretty big. I'm also not a fan of how there's so much extra space over here. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. And I decided the staircase down is just going to start here anyway. So like realistically, maybe three, four more blocks out this way. And we'll have like a nice big chandelier, nice big window, stuff like that. I do not know. It has been all of two whole seconds. Hey y'all, Scott here. Welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video. No, seriously. Hey, it's been like... Uh, a month and a half. <laughs> oh my god, the horse is still jumping around. And you probably just saw an epic thing where it's like two months later or something. I don't know. But we're back. This is after the whole big boom of the uh, few Minecraft videos on my channel. Welcome all the new members, all the new uh, the subscribers, everyone. Hello. How are you? I'm sure you're familiar. A lot of people have come and watched the entire series up until this point, but you know, this is it. <laughs> this is the world. I want to thank you all for coming and watching and just being a part of this. I, I really, really, really appreciate that. And also the fan art. <laughs> you guys have been so cool. Some of it's on screen right now. You can see it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? That's pretty cool. Like, truthfully, it, it means the world to me that, like, this is even possible. I am really glad that you guys enjoy all this. I, I've, I've poured my heart and soul into it, and I've, I, I really just want to keep getting better and better at making these videos. And I'm trying. A little bit at a time, right? But I would like to wrap this one up here shortly because, you know, it's been spanning over a month and it's not done yet. But the good part about that being so long ago is that I have come up with ideas. Oh. Wait, I left my cape gravity on. I needed it for a screenshot. Look at that. Oh, hey, yo. Let's just reset that. <laughs> I like my wavy cape to not be too wavy. But I think I've come up with a solution for this side of the house and the front, and we're going to work on that here. I really hope that I can turn this into something big and epic and awesome. So that's what we're going to do. Why do I have two stacks of golden carrots on me? The world will never know. Yeah, let me gather some stuff and we're going to start doing this. That's a lantern. Initially, I didn't know where I wanted this all to be because everything is kind of strewn about up here and it didn't really come together the way I wanted. But I think in order to make it not look weird with the window being here, we are going to round off this part of the building. And that might end up meaning that we get rid of this. It always kind of felt weird here anyway, but I think if we put a big window, it would look cooler. So we're going to move him. <laughs> he can sit right here for now. But I've been thinking, like I said, it's been over a month. So like a lot has happened in that time. And I've never been more confident in my like want to do this. Something clicked. I don't know what it was. Something just clicked one day where I was like, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to do a bunch of stuff on this channel. We're going to have fun doing it. And here we are. So silly and so goofy. Oh, how am I going to do this? Ugh. Eh. I also need more mud brick, which kind of sucks. I hate getting this block. I love it, but I hate getting it. Oh, I moved all these. There were bottles over there. Um, here. What? Wait, seriously? Okay, listen, it has been a while. I have no idea where I left things. Oh, never mind. No, I do remember. Hi, Paul. How you doing today? They are over here. Yeah, okay. Oh, Gray. I forgot he was up here. You being chilling, buddy? Yeah, that's great. I'm pretty sure this episode we've introduced like six more characters, but I am considering bringing Dingle over, <laughs> getting a dog naming him Dingle, just like the uh, just like the tutorial world video. I I, I like that name on the dog. I don't know why. I'm thinking about it. Oh, also, I got name suggestions for the horses in the comments, and we will name them that. I asked, you delivered. I'm mostly just saying this now so I don't forget. 
<laughs> I'll edit this down and then I'll record that bit. Isn't that right, Gray? Okay. And that was absolutely incorrect. I totally forgot. Maybe next time. The perks of moving my creative world over to my PC is now I can do this. <laughs> I can investigate. This is where the bay windows are in my head. These giant curved windows that I built. So we have to do something like this on the front. And it's going to be more dramatic in mine because it's just bigger scale. But I want to include this lava thing somehow. Mm, got it. I know what it's going to look like. I know what it's going to look like. Hmm, a love garden. Uh, uh, what, a, what, a, what an interesting idea. I wonder if that will happen. I wonder if I'll do that. <laughs> That's the sound of me being underwater. Before the start of that, I may have just redesigned something in my head. So I didn't like that these looked mirrored, and I think I just found a solution. I want to test out a design for this area, and I think that this is the perfect place to test it, so let's do it. We're just going to rip this apart for a second. Yeah, all this progress over the last few months? Who needs it? Something you're going to see a lot more for me in the future is hyper modern. I'm good at that. And a lot of it is straight lines. And I didn't like how this blended before. So what if we bring a little hyper modern into this super wooden and sandstone building? Oh, I think that works. I think that really works. All right, I'm going to evaporate the rest of this wall and then I'll be back. Um, we're keeping this guy. Hold on. This is a good opportunity. That guy. Come over here. Ow. No. Stay in the water. Come over here. Holy God. That boy's got an arm. Jesus. Come here. Oh, he's making his way over. Come on. Come on, little guy. Ow. Like that trick shot. Now he's just going to chill there. We'll use him at some point. I have a few ideas, but that, that's not what I should be doing right now. I'm getting back to work. I think that this looks a lot cooler. Obviously, it's going to get filled in, right? But I'm thinking that this side of the base should stay like more cliff anchored. Oh, yeah, that looks right. That looks right. I don't know how I'm going to blend all this yet. I like these windows, but that was the right move. These pillars are going to get filled, so they will be the full length. And this wooden wall will probably be like two in so you can like see the width of the pillar. But I don't know if they're going to be wooden the whole way now. I'm debating on what's going to be underneath here. Honest to God, it might end up being part of the doghouse. So this might end up being windows, which would be kind of cool because you could look down into the doghouse from above. We have a decent bit of room. I noticed this the last time I was on and I was just like, eh, it doesn't feel like it's using the space right. Just because this was all empty basically the whole way down. So maybe we'll have some wood to like here, a beam, a window, and then another beam where the floor will start. Or even better, this will keep going down and the water will be up against it, which could work because uh, the sillies are down here. This might actually work super well. Oh, oh no. Do I get a name tag? Give me two seconds. Quack. Go ahead, go down, go down, I dare you. I, I dare you, come on, look. Oh, look, there's an item, oh, item. There's an item, hey, dolphin, there's an item. Go on. You stupid son of a bitch. Hi, Quack, you're permanent. <laughs> How does it feel to be trapped? He's gonna kill himself, how much you wanna bet? Guarantee this dolphin's dead in a week. Guarantee it. Bro's gonna beat himself. Bro, what are you doing down there? Sometimes I think the wandering trader doesn't actually know, like, who he is or what he's supposed to do with his life. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to kill you. You're, pr you're probably going to do it to yourself. <laughs> Here he goes. Listen, I know I haven't built the bridge yet, but you don't have to rub it in my face. What? What is going on? <laughs> Bro, you're drowning your llamas. Let him get the land. He just wants to be free. <laughs> I got to save him. You can be free now. Little one, come with me. Ow. How do they predict that so well? Okay, can you stop? <laughs> you done? Okay, good. I don't have name tags. You guys get to despawn. Have fun. You want a quick building tip? So when I'm building my bases and my designs and stuff, I've started to develop this effort because it's not really great. But for me, it works. I get the general idea down and then I start to build based on perspective. So like this, it needs a little bit of an adjustment. But what I did was get the shape of the building down and then narrow down the angle that I want you to look when you look at it. And it's obviously down this hallway because this is the entrance. So for this room here where I'm building these two big circles, we also want you to look down the hallway. And I want the room to look a little bit taller than round. So on the outside, it's round, but on the inside, it's oval kind of so i'm thinking about leaving it a little bit shorter on this top so it looks like an oval arch but the floor pattern i kept as a three wide thing for right now so that i can figure out exactly where i want you to be standing in this room floor planning is really hard in this game because if you build on a bigger scale it's really difficult to fill up an area and if this was all just open with no use it kind of feels useless but you don't want it to be too cramped either so it's not only going to be this tiny little path but this is going to be the majority of where you're standing is on this area down to here and 
down into that area. He's chilling. Yeah, no, that was just a thought I had. Because I'm really trying to get this right. This is an important part of the house if I'm going to be entering and leaving from here. I don't know how often since I can fly, but you know what I mean. But the circle wasn't doing it for me. I have gone in a loop. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Can you hear that? That's that's a that's a Red Bull. Red Bull sponsor me. I want to be your pro gamer. What the hell do I do here? What I've done with this is so specifically shaped. I'm having trouble doing anything but that shape because it just doesn't blend. Hear me out. We just completely get rid of this section. It might work for the vision better than trying to add something there. I just, okay. Yep. Just waste a firework. That's what I wanted to do. How was that? Was it the worst time lapse of your life? Hmm, okay. Wait, hold on. I just figured it out. Here's another building tip that I've kind of considered. If the space doesn't feel useful, maybe get rid of it. This walkway I had up top was just pointless. Originally, I think the door was gonna be here and it makes sense that it's on this side. That way we can actually cut this back a little bit and maybe reveal some more of the uh, underneath. But now you don't have an additional walkway. You just go in and follow the straight path which leads through everything. And I got rid of the staircase here because I feel like the entrance should be a lot shorter. Gotta use your brain sometimes. Something that I don't do. I'm getting harassed. This horrible, sadistic, evil creature. Quit stealing my sandstone. Get away from me, I don't like you. I seriously couldn't come up with anything. And it was really starting to irritate me. It's been two hours. I, I literally don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've tried a thousand things. Look at him. He's stealing my items. Oh, he's, he's killing himself. Hey, yo, whoa. I don't know what to do. I need a break. Apparently, a universal feeling is that Dingle was a fantastic name for a dog, so I'm going to get another dog. His color was red in the episode, but I wanted to change Joseph's to yellow. So I'm thinking we just make it orange. That it's like a blend of both. And that'll just be a callback to there. I just need a side quest. I need something to take my mind off of this. Uh, Paul, I know. Is there a dog over here still chilling? <gasps> Little fella! Oh, it was meant to be. Dingle, welcome. I'm going to get name tags. I need something to do. Like, I'm legitimately so irritated right now. I don't know how I'm going to splice it together, but I'm sure you just saw like 16 different versions of that. The front of the house has been so difficult to do because of that curve. To the point where I'm debating on redesigning that part. Oh, that was it. Okay, I'm broke. It's annoying. I'm annoyed. Everything's stupid. Shut up. Where'd he go? Dingle. Hello. Ugh. Dingle. It's <laughs> a funny name. See, the problem I'm having right now is that this curve just kind of breaks the entire building scheme that I've been working off of. And I just don't know how to change it now because it's too close to that path, right? So it's not like I have a ton of room to work with and everything that I've tried just seems excessive. I'm honestly debating getting rid of the curvature making them flat windows and just going from about back there up to the balcony. So it uses like a strut support system still, and it has some angularity to it, but then the actual dimensions on the inside aren't difficult to work with. And I love this area. I'd hate to get rid of it. Like I want to take this pattern, move it back to there, like duplicate that. I don't like this double wall. This has been driving me insane. This is frustrating. Ugh. I think I have to make a diagonal pillar. That's going to be the solution. Nope. I lied. That was wrong. This is exhausting. This is exhausting. I hate this build right now. Mm. I'm gonna lose my mind. I just built all that. <sighs> I wanted it to be on the other one. I wanted it to be on the other one. Down we go again. Down we go again. It wouldn't hurt. Just build another one. Just build another one. It's not that bad. I'm about to go get the allays too. I I'm tired of picking up this stuff. In fact, I'm going to. All right, you two. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out. It's not hard. It's not hard. Thank you. Let's hope that neither one of them die. Get them. Get those blocks. Get them. Yeah, this is nice. I need to use them more often. Uh, this still doesn't solve the issue. It's always my problem. Everything comes so naturally until the end when you're trying to connect it all together. Ah! Uh. I can't get this goddamn thing to work right. But yeah, the pillars aren't doing it for me. Dude, this is driving me insane. I'm actually gonna need to go repair my pickaxe. Ugh. I'm just gonna start on this side and see what happens. I am getting so irritated. Seriously. I'm getting really mad. Definitely not smiling while I say that. I think that I need to raise this up again. Like, here we go. Undoing something that I did. Look, everything's about to break. Everything's about to break. Literally everything. But look at my elytra. L look at this. Like, I, 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 I've done this a thousand times. No, I won't do it. I need to repair my stuff. I'm gonna trap them in Reginald's room. You stay here. There's still so much to do. Oh my god. Why did I say I'd do this all in one video? Why? What? That was all of it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. It gets trapped. Oh my god. That was almost enough to fully repair that. Yeah, if you ever wonder where I'm getting my golden carrots, this is how. We're, uh, we have a lot of stuff. We don't have enough melons to trade evenly. So we have, like, way, way too many pumpkins now. Uh, this still doesn't solve the problem. <sighs> this is probably the 400th time I've seen this sunset today. <laughs> and this was the start of my madness. Rub it in. Rub it in. Yep. God, rub it in. 
I can't. I can't with this place. Yeah, that looks even worse. I've had enough. I've had enough. No, I'm, I'm done. I thought about it deeply. I'm done. Done. I don't want to. I don't want to. No. No. It's over. This idea is dumb. I'm done with it. Let's reevaluate. I don't think I've ever been so indecisive on something because it's just not coming together. Oh, yeah. Um, let me kill myself. I don't like that. I don't like it. What do you want me to say? I don't like it. You ever just want to scream? Like, really loud? You just want to scream? Like, let out the biggest, most agonizing sound any human could make? I'm tempted to ignore it. I'm tempted to just move on, and when we're done with everything else, just be like, Yeah, yeah, this video's done. We finished the house. The entrance and its consequences. Brother, this just doesn't work. I don't like this either. Nah, nah, we just tear it up. We tear it up. We don't like it. We take it away. That's how this works. This side barely works, too. This entire base is so hobgloved together, it's driving me insane. This is disastrous. <laughs> that looks ugly. That looks terrible. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. Mm, what if I just don't do anything? What if I just destroy it all? I've disassembled more than I put together. I think we have to rethink the windows. I don't think there's an alternative. I actually don't think there's an alternative. Give me the glass back. I'm sick of um this. Hey, I have another building tip for you. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I turned on the Minecraft soundtrack. I'm just listening to it. Like, I don't- I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm And I really don't like these walls, either. I feel like I've started to dislike what I've done so far. Like, especially that. Why is that off-centered? <sighs> and if I'm being honest, I'm getting really, really sick and tired of the sandstone and wood. Like, really, really sick and tired of it. Which is a shame, because I want to love it. I just- I can't. I was so confident going in this morning. It's been eight hours, and all I've done is subtract from the base. And now I'm really starting to wonder, like, what I should, like, what else should I change? If I'm spending this much time on the entrance, how much of the rest of the base could use an uplift? Like I said, I don't like the tower. The main body of the house could use some work. See, like, I like up in here. I think I did a good job on this. At least for the most part. Joe Biden's room came together nicely on the inside, but on the outside, it's uneven. It doesn't look right. The roof is weird. It's not symmetrical. I don't know about it anymore. Like, what is this goofy pattern? Why did I do this? But then by doing that, now we have a flat wall. And that wall shouldn't even start there, because look at the pillar. This layer should be the extrusion, this should be the wall. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. And I was about to be done. But then a wave of determination just came over me. Yo, play Moog City over this part. The inspiration's coming back. So it turns out being hard on yourself is not the way to go. Well, I mean, to a point, you have to be able to, you know, justify that maybe you could do better. But I think I figured it out. This whole time, it's been that there is too much wood. I was getting really sick of this yellow color. And now here we are. It looks remarkably better. There are men in my house. Oh, you know what? We let Paul cook. We let Paul cook. Come on, Paul. Cook. Cook, brother. Cook. What is he doing? Kill him. There we go. All right. Yeah, I've decided Paul gets to live with Joe Biden. There is something absolutely gut-wrenchingly terrifying about potentially getting pillagers spawning in here. You protect Joe, okay? Permanent Joe protection. That's freaking epic, isn't it? Check out this shape. I had this idea right as I left the house yesterday. It's basically just another one of these pillars. Except ignore the fact that it's seven wide here and five here. But instead of it going all the way up, it also goes out and over. So it encapsulates the front of the building. And we'll have like a wooden area in between that can incorporate those like checkerboard pattern windows. And it supports the balcony and it can slope up into the rest of the building up there. This covers everything. <laughs> Let's build this damn thing. <clears throat> really? I can't wait for the house to be done so that I can just be inside when it rains. I log into the world and this happens instantly. Is it a bug? Is it a bug? While we're waiting for the rain, I don't know if I've showed this, but I, I've done a little bit of brewing. I find it entertaining sometimes just to come up here and just brew some stuff. It doesn't even matter what it is. I, I often don't even care. I just want to brew something. Water source. Like this is the uh, awkward potion area. And then over here, I have my stations where I can just whip out, say, I don't know, I want fire resistance. And I can throw this in there, that in there, boom. And then it will funnel in and just make the whole potion for me. And we have eight of them. It's not super advanced, but I like it. And I don't know, I probably showed this off in some sort of aerial view, Um, if you didn't do that now. But I really like the way this looks in this, like on the inside. It's contrast, that's what it's all about here. And the spruce against the sandstone, mwah, perfect. Plus it doesn't like match this wood and it looks 
a lot better. There's a lot going on in this room, and I'm not sure what it needs to be, uh, perfected. But I think it's coming together. Like, it, it's definitely better than it was. Paul, how you doing in here? You liking your new life? Still don't care. Wow, okay, fine. I get it. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. <laughs> Joe just keeps getting stuck on his- on the chair because his call post is right there. Hey, watch him, watch him, watch him. <laughs> He's done it like a hundred times. I, I- this is all he does. Joe Biden. I don't know, this place is slowly coming together. Oh, and I lowered this. I don't know if you saw that too. I, I briefly attempted to do something with this wall, but this looks so much better. It only being one step above is just so much more natural. The ceilings don't feel as cramped anymore. It's perfect. What do you think, Gray? Uh, you want the rain to be over? Oh, yeah, me too. That's crazy. Gray and Dingle. I love this house. Oh my God. Yeah, no, this side of it. Oh, wow. Look at this side of it. That is beautiful. That shape fits it perfectly. Where it rounds it. Oh my God. This house is like... Uh, are you here for my speech? You fucking cocksucker. He sprint through the grass block. The disrespect. Two things. This reminds me. Next episode, we need an Enderman farm. I'm really tired of going over to the village. And second, like, this is by far the biggest house I think I've ever built. Mind you, this is only the above ground stuff. There's gonna be more. But I've been pushing myself a lot with this. Like, like building styles. I gotta learn how to do these things. So I'm, I'm picking up areas that I've neglected as far as building skill over the last few years. And I'm, I'm trying to put it together here. And I think it's coming together. I didn't really care for this yesterday, but I think I've really really feeling it today. This is the part of the base that I knew I was gonna like. I knew I was gonna be so happy with it at this point, where everything starts to actually match and it all feels connected. It's great. We got a lot more to do. <laughs> this video is probably an hour and 10 minutes long, right? If you made it this far, congratulations. That is amazing. Thank you so much. But, um, I'm not sure that I have faith for finishing the house. <laughs> ah, it's so funny because this just keeps happening. <laughs> but like, I'm thinking about it, right? If this is already over an hour, and I'm not even done with the entrance. Is there any chance? There's only gonna be a chance if I try, right? <laughs> so let, let's get, let, let's just, let's just try. But then I hated it. I hate it. I hate it. I can't do it. Mm. And then I loved it. I think I got it. I think it's really coming together. Look me in the eyes and tell me you have something worth my time. Oh, what do you got? Uh -huh. Garbage. Uh huh. Huh huh. It'd be a shame if I. Oh uh, oh uh, oh. Uh. No, I won't do it. Where'd this leather come from? That's crazy. Um, excuse me, sir. How did you get in here? I think I play this game too much. Don't you dare even hit my LA. I think I'll light this place up. All right, go on, my minion. Get it. Go on, there's more. You got work to do. I like them. They're useful. Next episode, I'm yet to decide if we breed an army of those or if we go get an Enderman farm. I'm not entirely certain yet. Thanks. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. L let me use gray concrete when I don't have access to a, a squid farm. That's great. Oh, uh, black dye. Oh, that'll be easy to get. Oh, I only need like 16 more stacks. That'd be, that'd be easy. That'd be easy. That'd be easy. Just go get it. This is Minecraft. Move. God damn it. It looks like a toad house. Bro, come on. It's got the right shape and everything. It's just there's something off. It's the front. The front doesn't look good. The goal is to detotify this. I'm getting real sick of looking at it now. I think we need to unround it. I like the general shape and I really like this diagonal, but I think we got to make it not round. Like if you look at this and to me, especially like I, this is the great part. This is the lacking part. And I'm debating on just doing that again, but I don't think it's going to work. We got like something's got to change here. It, this is the cutoff. Something's got to change. Ha ha ha. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Leave me alone! I'm getting so sick of this! It's front of the house! I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. It's gone. It's gone. Now it's raining again. It's raining. Don't worry. It's raining outside. Oh, this world raining? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Guys, guys, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Christmas is only two weeks away. Can you believe it? Christmas. <laughs> ah! How did I get to this point? <laughs> Terraria soundtrack just started playing. I don't, I don't know how I got here. <laughs> Are you serious, Ryan Elba? <laughs> I'm done. You know, I, th I think we just pack our bags and go. I think we just, yeah, look, guys, the house is finished. The house is finished, guys. Don't worry. Well, look at this finished house. That's crazy. All right, guys, welcome home. House is done. Wow, isn't that crazy? We finished the house this episode. Wait, come check, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. We, we got the door and then we got the bed. Oh, look at. <laughs> check it out. We got the. Whoosh, whoosh, 
We got the uh, uh, and then we got the um. Mm, oh, this is the Sunday newspaper. Mm, yes, yes. And then we have the. Whoosh, I've lost my mind. All right, glad glad you guys enjoyed it. I hope you I hope you enjoyed this episode. That was great. I'm glad we finished the house. That's crazy. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, do all this stuff, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. This place is gonna drive me insane.